Hello, FBC family, Pastor Mike here with Tuesday's announcement. And today I'm really pleased to announce to you that this Sunday, June 14th, we are planning to resume in-person Sunday worship services. And they're gonna be quite a bit different than we're used to in the past. So I wanna walk through some of those changes with you today so that you're ready. First of all, we're gonna have multiple services. We're gonna have one service at 9.30 in the morning and another at 11. These are gonna be one hour services they're gonna be identical and they're gonna be family services, which means that we're not gonna have any kids ministry, so our kids will be in here with us for the service. Now, because of our limits on how many people we can fit in this room and maintain social distance, we're gonna ask that you RSVP for what service you'd like to come with. That'll help us to plan accordingly and know how many people we're gonna have. It'll also help us unfortunately limit uh, the number of people that can have and then we'll plan perhaps differently as we go forward. So if you go online to our website, fbcpryanville.org, you can RSVP for one of those services there. Alternatively, you can call the church office, talk to Jenny, and she'll get you signed up for one of those services. So take a minute to do that today if you would. Also, if you uh, are not comfortable returning yet, if you're not ready to come back, or perhaps you're in that more vulnerable category of folks, uh, and you decide to stay home, that's okay. We're gonna continue to live stream our services at 9.30 and 11 so that you can access them on our YouTube channel and on our website. So that is also an option for you. Now, during this lockdown, the past three months, um, we've really been constrained. Our emotions are getting up. We're, we're really starting to get amped up and, and we're ready to get back to life as normal. And the way I've described it to people is it feels like we're all kind of a rubber band and we've been pulled to tension, almost pulled to a breaking point. Now, if I let go of this rubber band, it's gonna snap me. And if I had something in it, it would shoot it across the room. And, and I'm afraid that um, because we're in such tension on a personal level, on a communal level, that when um, things get eased and, and when we're able to go back to life as normal, instead of just kind of easing back, we'll snap back. And when we snap back, we tend to run through any kind of um, guidelines or any kind of constraints that continue to be on us. Now, um, we're going to ask you to, to abide by some guidelines and modifications as we come back together on Sunday morning and not just fly through them and disregard them, which all that's going to take is, is love and mutual respect amongst us as a people. So we are going to ask that you continue to maintain while you're here that six foot social distancing. That's the, that's the best thing for us to do. And we've been asked to do it by our leaders. And so when you're in the building, uh, you'll notice that when you get in here, the seating arrangement is quite a bit different. We're going to have ushers helping you find a seat and just continue to maintain that six foot social distancing. We also ask you to refrain from touch greetings like hugs or handshakes and instead do the, do the el elbow bump or a wave as you visit with people and as you talk with people on Sunday morning. Um, masks or other face coverings. I know that's a hot topic and I would encourage you and we as, we as uh, elders are going to strongly recommend that folks wear uh, face coverings. That's one of the best ways we're finding out to limit the spread of this disease and so we're strongly recommend it but we're not going to require it. We will have masks available here in the lobby if you need one. With all those things, on Thursday, I'm going to encourage you to watch an announcement from Dr. Noah, and he's going to share with us uh, why we would continue to observe some of these things like social distancing and wearing face masks and, and using hand sanitizer or washing our hands. Uh, and so that's going to come to you Thursday. We'll remind you of all these things then. Uh, but for now, what I just want to remind you of a request from you is that you just be patient, that you walk through this with us in grace and in love. As leaders, we're just trying to figure out what the best thing to do is. We're probably going to make mistakes. We're probably going to even change things on a week to week basis based on what we know and how things are working. So be patient as we figure this out and, we, and as we go forward. Uh, we know that there's a there's hundred different opinions on how we should be handling this. There's a hundred different opinions on, on COVID-19 as a whole. But as Christ people, as his church, we are called to exalt him. We're called to be about Jesus. So as we worship together, let's be about Jesus. Let's praise him. Let's exalt him. Let's listen to his word. Uh, let's pray to him. Let's make him the center of everything. 
And in that, Jesus calls us to love one another. So I want to call us again just to be patient with each other, be gracious to each other, and love each other as we go forward. Thank you.